Hi, so this is Scooby. He's came in because he's not keeping up with the other dogs when they're going out for runs and things. So we're just looking at his respiration today, which is quite interesting. If you look um, at his nose, he's actually um, not too bad, but sometimes they can flare their nostrils if they're having a wee bit of an issue breathing. He has been in the past also sort of puffing out a wee bit of air out of his lips, but he's settled down on that at the moment too. And you can notice his mouth is closed, so he's not like a normal dog that would be panting, because you can sort of tell that's a different sort of scenario. But he's got his mouth closed. Um, but what we now look at is his chest. And you can see, even though you can see his ribs a little bit, but you can actually see his chest movements. So what I'm going to teach you today is how to do a respiration rate, or a breathing rate. I've just got a wee clock over there with a second hand on it, so I'm going to watch the clock, and when it gets around to um, a quarter, so what we do is we're going to count for 15 seconds, so coming up now, we're going to start, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, so that's 18 for a quarter, we're going to double that, so that's 36, and then double that again, so that's 60, 72. So that's quite fast for a dog. Most of the time they should be, you know, 20 to 30 breaths a minute. Shouldn't really be much more over 40 breaths a minute, and he's at 72. So that tells us we do have a problem. So the next thing is a vet needs to actually have a listen of those lungs and see if they can hear some lung sounds. We have actually done an x-ray of him, and the good news is he hasn't got any fluid outside the lungs, meaning I need to draw that off. But it does look like he's got some pathology with the lungs and possibly even some bronchitis. So we're going to try him on some medication. But the re breathing rate is a really good way of telling whether things are improving or not. Obviously, you do it when they haven't been for a big run. It's when they're actually resting. Um, so it's a resting rate, but it's really quite handy. We had a lady run in the weekend, um, and she just that was one thing she noticed, that the dog was just breathing a little bit quicker. You'd think it was actually panting, but the mouth, of course, was closed. So she knew something was just not right with the dog, so luckily she brought it in. And when I listened to its lung, one lung I couldn't hear very well at all, and on the, on the x-ray there was some fluid. Now what was interesting with that case is that the cat dog had actually got into some rat bait and what the fluid I was drawing off was actually blood. So luckily she run me and that was the only sign that she'd sort of noticed was not quite right um, and we managed to save that dog otherwise it might have been a different story. Another sign of a respiratory problem could even be a cough but sometimes you don't always hear the cough either. So um, the respiration rates are really good tip, but basically anything over 40 breaths per minute is a reason for concern, so get them checked out. Thanks, Gooby.